On the 26th of February 2014, Professor Sir Mark Walport and Professor Alice Roberts came to Think Tank Birmingham Science Museum as part of a national tour talking about climate change. Ignite, Think Tank's Young People's Forum were given a special opportunity to talk to them about the importance of young people in the future of climate change, recycling and even beetles. We have made a short film about the event to share with other young people what we have learned. Sum up in a sentence who you are and what kind of work you do. I'm the Chief Scientific Advisor to the Government and my job is to advise the Government on all aspects of science, engineering, technology and social science with respect to all aspects of Government policy. So it's a big job. I'm Alice Roberts and I'm Professor of Public Engagement in Science at the University of Birmingham but I'm also a science author and a broadcaster. Why have you personally chosen to get involved in a talk on climate change? Well, one of the most important things that's responsible for our health, our well-being, our resilience and our security is our infrastructure. And you can divide our infrastructure into our built infrastructure and the natural infrastructure. And energy and power are one of the most important things that keep advanced societies running. Um, and equally, if you look at the natural infrastructure, our environment, the climate and the weather is extremely important. I think climate change is one of the biggest challenges facing us this century and I think that everyone needs to engage with it and it's important to have a discussion about this area and it's really important that everyone feels involved in that discussion and that's why it's really fantastic that Mark is here and going out and, and talking to general audiences and encouraging this debate and discussion because it shouldn't just be a few people um, making these decisions, it should be something where everybody is involved in the decision making. What do you know about climate change? Not a lot. Yesterday it was raining, today it's sunny. I've, I've got a theory about this, right? You know, our winter came like pretty late. I think that's going to happen now every year. My verdict on that. Yeah, but you're stupid. Uh, there's a possibility it could happen. And what do you think that you can do as a young person in the future of climate change? Work inside. Educate the youth. Um, do stuff to cut down on like global warming. Oh. I don't know. Okay, thank you for your time. Many people consider Birmingham to be the place where the Industrial Revolution and manufacturing era began. If you could go back to that time with your current knowledge about our effect on climate, what, if anything, would you try to change? Well, the Industrial Revolution changed people's lives for the better in many ways, so it was an extraordinarily good thing. But with the knowledge that we have now, then obviously the challenge would be at a much earlier stage to have worked out how we could be the most efficient in the use of energy. And once we discovered the power of the steam engine, to find alternative ways to actually generate the power that was needed to drive it. If you had no limit on time and resources, what would you like to research concerning climate change? There are so many things we still don't know about the climate. It requires incredible uh, computers to model it and to actually understand. And one of the big challenges, it's hard enough to forecast weather. It's really very difficult to forecast the climate over very long periods. So we still need to do an awful lot of research. There are many things we don't know about the climate, although one thing that we do know is that human emissions of carbon into the atmosphere are changing the climate of the planet. I think I would like to uh, answer the question that everybody wants to answer, which is how we manage to sustain the kind of lives that we've got at the moment, the, um, the lifestyles that we've got at the moment, um, and, and balance that somehow with the way that we're using energy and looking after the planet and looking after everybody on the planet, um, our own species and other species as well, um, whilst at the same time not going back into the Stone Age. So what do you know about climate change? Um, there's been a lot of awareness recently in schools and on TV as well and it's something that's probably been like a bit of a stigma right now. A lot of people don't want to admit it but it seems like it's a massive problem. What organism do you think will survive the longest when faced with an extreme change in climate? 
some uh, bacteria yeah, well, deep you, in the okay, earth's you can crust, have I should and, imagine. And I'll have beetles, because <laughs> beetles will rule the world. <laughs> But it'll be species that divide fairly rapidly and that, are, uh, that have great diversity. What is it important for young people to know about climate change? Well, I think it's important, as Alice has already said, to actually understand the science and to actually start debating it about how you're the ones that are going to inherit the planet from generations before and be responsible for subsequent generations. So it's really important that you're able to get involved in all of the discussions about the difficult policy decisions that we all have about how we move forward. What do you know about climate change? I know that we can't deny that it's happening and that we should all do something to stop um, inevitable destruction of the planet. And what role <laughs> do you think you have as a young person in the future of climate change? I think we should all do our best to recycle, to make the best use of the resources that we have available and to ensure that there's a sustainable future for the continuation of the human race, really. What will the young people have in the future of climate change? Well, you are going to inherit the Earth, and therefore it's really important that you're going to carry the responsibility for future generations and your children in turn. I think they have a really important role to play in terms of their opinion right here and now. But as Mark said, you're going to inherit the earth, you're going to be the future scientists, the future politicians, um, and so this is going to be um, part of your challenge as well. To what extent was climate change a factor in the recent flooding? I, that's a really interesting question. And one of the big challenges is that it's always difficult to attribute any single weather event to climate change. But what we do know is, as the planet warms, as more water vapour enters the atmosphere, then we're likely to get more extreme weather events. And so the type of weather we've had is more likely to recur in the future. But whether you can say any single weather event is caused by climate change is virtually impossible. I think um, younger people have a, an extremely important role to play because we can bring together different disciplines and different skill sets that they learn through university, through college, and that can really help to, to have an interdisciplinary approach uh, to the challenges of climate change. Would humans be better off with the planet getting hotter or colder? I think humans would be better off surviving with the climate staying pretty much as it is. <laughs> Our civilizations have grown up in a period of climatic stability and if we disrupt that, then the future of our civilizations is at stake. I agree completely. Mm. Are our actions, for example, recycling, really having a positive impact? Yes, we must all do as much as we possibly can, and lots of little actions add up collectively to quite a big action. Yes, I think so, and I think it's important that every individual person takes responsibility for this, that we don't just think, oh well, it's the government's problem, they should sort it out we can do something about it as individuals as well. Well, I think the biggest problem with climate change is that um, it requires tough decisions by governments, which um, current politicians may not be brave enough to take. So for me, the big challenge for young people is to bring pressure to bear on, on politicians, make a noise and demand action urgently. I think young people are the vanguard. They're at the front and they will actually make the changes and make them stick in a way that older people can't because they've got so much already invested in the status quo. I think it's time for young people to get serious and really reflect on the difference they can make and help us to protect the future.